So, this is a detailed video of about putting in a big beam. Now, right here, you can see this beam right here is actually being reinforced and going to be enlarged. It's going to be more than double. It's going to be triple that size, and it's going to even be taller. So it's a lot of work to do, and we're going to also, when you do a big beam, it's not just putting a big beam up. What you got to realize is that you're carrying so much weight and now you're transferring this weight to the walls, so wherever it stops. In that case, above the door, and it's got a big old header up there that carries that weight, will not flex above the door, will not crush the door. And over here, it's coming down on an area that was never intended to have this much, this much weight on it. So what we're gonna have to do is get down inside here and actually build a pier down in here on the ground. This is a pier and beam home, and so we can get inside here and we can dig a pier. It's, well, that's actually this, this far below. You can see here, it's, it's this far under there. That's enough for a person to get under there and dig a hole and put a big pier under there, steel reinforced concrete pier that will carry this weight. Because we're not only gonna have to add studs here to carry that load, we're going to have to have something down below that carries that load. Because otherwise, what you would see is all of this flooring starting to sag. And if this floor starts to give way, starts to bend and flex, then we're gonna have a flex in the ceiling too. Not only that, it would be, it's not a good thing to have an excessive load there. So you need that pier to be directly under there with, with the corresponding posts and so forth under there in the, in the actual floor structure, not just here on the walls. And that's what a lot of people will do. They will actually put the structure up here. It looks great. Later on, nobody notices, but the sheetrock is maybe not cracked, but the, the ceiling starts to sag and the floor gets a dip in it and people don't notice it because it happens over a period of time. But when you get an engineer, they're not gonna allow that. If you get an engineer that's actually worth his weight, he's gonna tell you, reinforce this. And we already know that. And so that's what we've drawn up and we'll get that stamped by an engineer and we'll be good to go. And then all of this comes out safely. The same thing is true over here. You can't just put it over a door. You have to have the right support here and then transfer that down here on both sides. That has to be done. Now in here, we're sitting on top of concrete, so it's already engineered for that. But if it's not, you have to reinforce the concrete or reinforce the wooden floors, whatever it takes. That's today's detail.